Hi and welcome, this is Eric and today I'm going to discuss what a slicer in Power BI is. So a slicer helps a um, user to filter, it helps you to filter the record and the visual. Okay, it's exactly the same as uh, a filter but um, the only difference is um, it is present on the visual so the user can just go ahead and select or pick whatever um, data they would like to analyze or just to focus on i'll show you in action so in here filters are on the side over here okay so if you hide them they're not anywhere in the visual so if you like to put something in the visual where you can slice your information to just focus on one area you use a slicer so I'm going to duplicate this dashboard and I'm going to go ahead and work on this. Okay, so this is just a table. I'm just going to go ahead and move this and I'm going to make this a little bit small and I'll pull my map down here. I mean, my timeline. And maybe I'll just do boom. Okay, so I'm going to add a slicer. To add a slicer, you go to your visualization pane and you select slicer. It's right here. So you select a pane and then you select a slicer. And I'm going to filter based on the item type because we do have region here. We do have here. Oh yeah, these item types as well. But uh, let's go ahead and filter by item types. So I'm just going to select that. And you will see them here. So if you check this box, if you just uh, slice the information, you can see they are moving. For example, now it's selecting clothes. This is just clothing. Okay. And all that. So you can format this the way you like. Um, if you click on the top right corner over here, you can go ahead and say maybe it's a drop down. If it's a drop down, they'll be able, they'll be able to just um, click the drop down and filter that information or slice that information um, I like um, my favorite is um, I'm just gonna list them and I'm gonna go to format here and change few things so in here on the orientation instead of um, doing uh, vertical I'm just gonna say horizontal so I'm gonna get a nice window here and I don't like really the way it looks. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to something else. That's outline color. Um, and over here I'm gonna go ahead and just enable select all option and um, now this single select so no never mind um we do have multi select if you want to uh, select more than one baby type so for now you see multi select you're gonna have to hold the control key to select for example baby food and cereal you're gonna see i'm holding my shift i mean my control key here I can select a few of them and I can compare and contrast. But the feature I was looking at, at, at was a select all option. So that way I can just go and select everything if I have to. Okay. And this was to turn on single select or not. Here, items, that's the. Um, for color and background, I'm going to change something else. And I'm going to leave everything as it is. Um, if you don't like it, actually I don't, so you can just go back. Oh, that was the label which I wanted. Um, First of all, data label, I'll just change this to something like, I have to select this guy here. So I'll 
so if you don't like the colors you selected or options you can go ahead and click revert to default so i'm just gonna go back and change back select control i like this option better but you see it doesn't look good so i'm just gonna turn off for now as long as you know it's there now my slides are here but anyways in short you can um select these on your pen on your report pen okay on your report canvas and, and um unlike filters you have to come here and do that okay so if you have selected a couple of slices you would like to change for example you can go you know just remove the filters um you can go ahead and either click them again or you can click this filter yeah the option which clears the selection is where click that everything gonna get back to normal so the last feature i'm gonna show you about the filter is you can change this color so if you go here to items right now the font color is kind of grayish you can go ahead and change maybe to navy i'm not sure what that color is in the background maybe just gonna make a little bit something like this okay so and yeah that should work you can increase the font size if you want but that should work for now um and you can change even the whole of that um but um, i'll just stop here for now uh, so now um, this is the way you format in visual chat if you want to format in visual chat you can just click on it and change some settings um, but i'll save that for the next video so watch out my next video i'll be discussing about themes okay uh, so thank you for watching um, i'll talk to you soon have a nice day